The Siamese cat is one of the oldest cat breeds in existence, dating back hundreds of years in Thailand. They also get referenced in a 14th century manuscript called the Cat Book Poems, and they are widely known to be one of the best show cats in the world. It was only in the mid-1950s when they were started to be seen as snobby, mischief-making, and even cold felines, due to their depiction in the Disney film Lady and the Tramp. In reality, these cats are sweet, even-tempered, and loving. We're going to look at eight different kinds of Siamese cats, their traits, temperament, intelligence, and more. If you love cats and you enjoy learning useful, interesting things about them, why not subscribe to our channel and join our cat community? We're a global online cat care community striving to make cats' lives better and cat owners' lives easier, starting with eight different types of Siamese cats. Within the Siamese family, there are two different groups, traditional and modern. Within the traditional family, they have been further broken down into three groups. Let's take a look at the traditional side first. Number one, the traditional applehead Siamese cat. The traditional applehead is the stocky version of the Siamese cat. They have round, apple-shaped heads, noses pointing downward, smaller ears, wider body frames, they stand taller than the classic Siamese and their tails are shorter. These cats are very friendly. They love people, cuddling and sitting on laps. They're quite vocal and social with humans. Short fur means very low maintenance grooming. However, Siamese cats are prone to over grooming tendencies, which can cause bald spots. Number two, old style Siamese cat. The old style Siamese cat has a medium sized bolt and is lankier than the apple head. This frisky feline has big ears, a more athletic body, a nose that points straight ahead and a slightly longer face. These cats are usually very attached to their owners. They're very curious and they'll actually follow you around the house. They're less vocal than the apple head, but you'll still hear about it if something ain't right. Due to their somewhat large ears, they are more prone to ear infections. Number three, the classic Siamese cat. The classic Siamese is a more tall and athletic version of the traditional Siamese. They have long, sleek bodies with long tails. Their ears are slightly bigger, along with a pointed face and slightly upturned nose. The classic cat is more energized than the other two as well. Just like the other two, however, this is still a very affectionate cat. In fact, they can be pushy about getting pats and cuddles, even if you're busy doing something else. Unfortunately, they are also prone to ear infections and over-grooming like the other two. Number 4. Modern Wedge Siamese Cat The Modern Wedge became popular in the 1980s. They have very narrow, wedge-like heads with big pointy ears that are set lower on the side of their heads. Their body is lean, long and very athletic. Unlike their traditional cousins, they have slanted eyes and wide noses that point straight out. This type of Siamese is the current show cat, and they share the same sweet and affectionate disposition as the rest of their family. Unfortunately though, crossbreeding has caused the modern wedge to develop liver, heart, or kidney diseases. Though it doesn't affect all modern wedges, some only live to be 8 years old. Now let's take a look at the different Siamese fur coats. Besides the specific family, the Siamese cat also comes in different coat styles and colors. All Siamese cats have short, silky coats, so they don't require a very intense grooming. The beauty of their fur is the point of color. They have a base of white or cream, but their face, paws, and tails are darker in color. And in contrast to that, they have these striking blue eyes, which really makes them a sight to behold. Interestingly enough, any version of the Siamese cat can have any type of color point coat. Number five, seal points. The seal points have a cream color base with darker fawn points on their face, paws, and tail. Number six, chocolate points. This style of Siamese has a cream colored base with chocolate brown colored points. They typically look similar to the seal points, but with a more marked contrast in color. Number seven, blue points. 
This beautiful fur has a bluish white base with bluish gray points on the face, ears and lightly on the tail and paws. Number 8. Lilac points. This is a rare Siamese that has a white base contrasted with gray points and a pink nose. Now that we know all the different types of Siamese cats, let's take a look at their traits, their temperament, intelligence and some other interesting things about Siamese cats. Their average height is around 8 to 10 inches. Their weight is around 8 to 14 pounds. Their lifespan is anywhere from 8 to 15 years. As we mentioned previously, their colors can range from seal point, chocolate point, blue point or lilac point. They're suitable for homes with children and those wanting a lab cat. Their temperament is loving, affectionate, elegant, talkative, intelligent, energetic, playful and codependent. Siamese kittens love to play and they remain kitten-like all the way into adulthood. Like with most cats, you're going to need to have lots of toys and scratching posts throughout the house to keep them stimulated. As with most cats, you're going to need lots of toys and scratching posts to keep them stimulated if you don't like being kept awake at 5am. They have very high energy levels, moderately good health, they are extremely sociable. They can be trained easily if you have a lot of patience as they can be a bit stubborn and their lifespan is pretty good. It is important to note that they are prone to compulsive behaviors. You may notice your Siamese sucking on fabric or engaging in pika, which means eating things that aren't food, or you might see them compulsively licking or biting themselves. This behavior starts at around two years of age, so be on the lookout. If you see any of these behaviors and you're worried about it, please be sure to contact your vet and schedule an appointment. Let's take a look at their temperament and intelligence. They are extremely affectionate and even clingy, and they demand near constant attention whether that's in the form of petting or playing. As a result, this isn't a good cat for someone who can't dedicate a whole lot of time to them. If you're never home, there are other cat breeds that can handle being alone for long periods of time, but the Siamese cat ain't one of them. They're also incredibly smart. They can be trained to do all kinds of things if you are a capable trainer. They can be a little bit stubborn at times. Are these cats good for families? Siamese cats can make wonderful family pets as they'll happily skip from lap to lap seeking out all the attention they can get. It's basically like owning a dog in a cat's body. They're good with kids, they enjoy being picked up and handled and they have quite a lot of patience for children with grabby hands of course up to a certain point so just be sure to monitor them does this cat breed get along with other pets siamese cats are often considered to be dog-like and they get along pretty well with canines that are cat friendly as with most cats smaller animals like rodents or birds may be seen as food rather than friends if you can pair your cat with the right pet then you may have a beautiful friendship on your hands however they still might prefer to hang out with their human roommates instead you can check out the full article on excitedcats.com to get some more information on how to care for a siamese cat the link to the full article is in the description below. Let's take a look at health and conditions. All cat breeds can be prone to certain health conditions, but the Siamese may be more vulnerable than others. Much of this is due to the aesthetic choices made by breeders over the years, as they favored adorable features over healthy ones. For example, this breed has a wedge-shaped head. This can make them more susceptible to respiratory and dental issues. They also have a love-hate relationship with food. This breed is more likely to be a picky eater than other cat breeds, so malnourishment is a big concern. On the other hand, they're also prone to obesity, so you'll want to keep your cat in the Goldilocks zone nutritionally speaking. They can also be prone to leg and joint problems as their long slender legs aren't made to hold up much weight. Another reason why obesity needs to be avoided at all costs. The bottom line is if you own a Siamese or you are looking into getting a Siamese, 
you need to have some money set aside for vet bills or get pet insurance. Specifically, be on the lookout for the following issues. If you're looking for a beautiful, affectionate cat that acts more like a dog than a cat, the Siamese might be the cat for you. They provide all the usual cat behaviors that owners love, but they're also extremely outgoing and affectionate just like dogs. That's not to say that they offer entirely the best of both worlds, however. They can be notoriously difficult to train. Despite their affectionate nature, they aren't people pleasers. They're also prone to a variety of health problems, which can make them expensive to own. There you have it. That's almost everything you need to know about the Siamese cat. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments. Contact us on social media or our website excitedcats.com. Me or one of our vets will get back to you. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more exciting cat content and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.